Will the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, the EFCC, be relegated with recommendation for a new agency to process loots? And with less than 24 hours to Edo elections, the Inspector General of Police restricts movement from midnight. This is Plus Politics and I am Felicity Ezewike. You're welcome to the program. The Executive Council has approved the bill that seeks to create an agency that will be responsible for managing proceeds of crime in Nigeria. Now, according to the Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, the current situation in the country is that proceeds of crime are currently being with, kept with multiple government agencies. He stated that the bill is targeted and intended to put in place a legal and institutional framework to manage the recovered loot. Joining us to discuss this is Debo Adeniro, the Chairman, Center for Anti-Corruption and Open Leadership, Kakul. Thank you very much for joining us on Plus Politics. Thank you very much. I'm happy that you invited me. It's our pleasure always. The argument presented for the proposed bill is that it will address the challenge of having, uh, you know, multiple having the proceeds of crime um, lodged with multiple agencies. What is your thinking on this? Thank you very much. I, we, I believe that uh, the establishment of the agency to manage the proceeds of crime uh, is long overdue. Since a very long time, we have suggested that it is not... Um, efficient, the way m different agencies is managing these uh, confiscated uh, assets of uh, corruption criminals in Nigeria. We know that uh, there is um, a need for specialized agency, and we suggested it to government that the the agencies like uh, EFCC, SCPC, SON, uh, Custom, and the rest of them should contribute personnel to form a body that will be managing seized assets so that the disposal of the same will be beneficial to the, Nigeria, uh, to the Nigerian people as a whole and that uh, those that will not be uh, sold will be disposed of in a way that it will not constitute environmental hazard. This has um, not been done since a very long time. That is why we are happy that uh, this uh, 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 decision had been taken by the National Aesthetic Council and that uh, they have done a bill that will make the disposal of um, proceeds of crime that are seized to be more efficient and, as a matter of fact, more effective. Uh, but, but there are concerns. So uh, some of it was discussed here on Plus Politics yesterday by my colleague and guest, um, Kaya De Lada Inde, uh, about the bill to amend the EFCC Act. Uh, there are those who say that this agency would be a duplication. Why is it not possible to embed the uh, decision to create an agency inside the amendment process ongoing uh, for the EFCC Act? Well, uh, first and foremost, you know that uh, the uh, anti-corruption agencies are made up of law enforcement professionals who do not have training in identifying uh, uh, the assets. They do not know the quality. They will not know how to monitor the degeneracy in it so that um, uh, if depreciation had to be calculated, they will not know what are the indices that will indicate the depreciation. If disposal has to happen, law enforcement agencies are not trained to engage in such uh, uh, commercial activity. 
like um, most of the time, you see the police auctioning vehicles, FRSC, um, customs and exercise and the rest of them. They are not trained to handle it. And that is why a lot of uh, things go wrong when they try to dispose of these uh, uh, seized assets. So if you have a specialized agency, it's going to be constituted by a thoroughbred professional. That is our expectation anyway. We are going to have quantity surveyors. We are going to have um, analysts, those who will be able to tell uh, the lifespan of a product, those who will know when a product is still useful or maybe it will constitute hazard to the consumer and so on and so forth. So they will determine how to actually uh, destroy the ones that are supposed to be destroyed if it is not good for human consumption. Those that are suitable for human consumption, they will be able to advise appropriately how to manage it, whether to sell it or to distribute it to the charity or whatever. So this is why it becomes essential that we should have such an agency. Uh -huh. The practice before now, when every agency is handling the management and disposal of seized assets, has made it unwieldy. And uh, most of the times, corruption creeps into the, uh, in, in, into the transaction. And if you remember what happened between the Attorney General and the suspended you know, acting chairman of uh, EFCC, it has to do with disposal and management of seas assets. Yeah, that I, I, is not awesome. Mm. I, I was going to um, ask you something else, but what you were saying about the, um, removing corruption, encouraging transparency and accountability and all of that, some would say that was among the reasons why we got the uh, TSA. Um, would you agree that the TSA hasn't really no. had that much of an effect? That is not the, uh, that is not the issue of TSA. It is the money that is earned that we pay through remitter to TSA. Now, if the, if the asset is undervalued, definitely the uh, accruing uh, money from it will be less than what the Federation accounts should earn from it. And if it is less, TSA will not discover it. And if TSA okay. does not discover it, it means that blue murder will have been committed. Okay. The business of the agency will be to value the asset appropriately to ensure that it is not overvalued to the extent that it may go to rot if there is nobody to buy it. It should not be undervalued. And uh, any asset that could constitute danger or hazard to the environment Danger to pers I mean, uh, uh, to citizens it will not be disposed of carelessly. If a, a building, for example, is dilapidated before it was seized, the agency will have somebody who has the expertise to advise that, look, this property should not be sold as it is. The, it, maybe it is the only land that will be uh, valued and will be sold. Okay. If it is a vehicle, they will be able to determine the lifespan of that vehicle if it is okay or not. Like ships on the high seas, there are so many, some of these uh, sea ships that contain chemical uh, substances that could have expired, and if they dispose them of carelessly, it will constitute hazard to the environment. And some unscrupulous industrialists can even buy expired, you know, chemicals with a view to maximize their profit. Now, if the agency is composed of those who can do the, 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 the thorough analysis of the chemicals or whatever is seized, they will be able to advise appropriately. So right. it will only uh, safeguard the interest of the Nigerian populace. It will also encourage transparency. It will encourage accountability because they will channel uh, the proceeds of such disposal 
directly into TSA, not that it will be coming from all the agencies that have uh, confiscated M the Mr. asset. Mr. So let, let me interject. What, what you're saying, the picture you're painting looks very great. But then again, the AGF clarified that this bill, this is not the first time. Uh, we'll come to the question about whether it has anything to do with current situation uh, with the EFCC. But let's look at what he said about the fact that the bill has failed at several attempts to present it. Um, he gave the instance of 2007, 2011, and as, um, as um, near as 2019. What are the chances that this bill will actually get the kind of audience it uh, requires from your assessment at the National Assembly? I believe the bill to get the support of uh, majority of Nigerians. The reason why the bills have been failing is because those in government, different arms of government, would not want such a body to succeed because they are the same people buying off these assets and they will not want the uh, asset to be appropriately valued. There are so many uh, uh, confiscated assets like that that they will, they will just dismiss as being, as being worthless. And vehicles that are in good grade, they will, they will pass it off as scrap, you know, just because they want to buy it cheaply. There are occasions when even the owner the original owner of the seized assets will negotiate with the agency so that they will buy the they will buy back the assets through proxy or any other fraudulent means. So all of this are what the new agency will take care of. And for for example, if we want to monitor the sales of such assets, it will be easy to. Uh, monitor it through a particular agency rather than running from pillar to post, from EFCC to ICPC to NAVDA to SOL to, to custom and all of them. That's we we make the the monitoring of uh, the disposal of the assets uh, cumbersome for us to do. So if, if we really want things to be done uh, in a way that will benefit all of us as Nigerians, we need that agency. Don't forget, that agency is not another anti-corruption agency in itself. It is like uh, a helping hand to existing agencies that are participating in the confiscation of uh, 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 proceeds of corruption. And what then do you they, say to... The, if they are law enforcement agencies, they should not be made to not, I mean, to become commercial agency that will engage in okay, commercial I think you've, you've made that point before. Buyer. In the interest of time, um, I'd That's like right. to ask you um, his response. A lot has happened with the EFCC. It, the boss, the acting chairman, is still uh, being investigated. And there, there, there was qu a question put to the AGF about That's the right. fact that um, the timing of this bill has... Um, too much uh, closeness to what is happening at the EFCC. And then his explanation was the question I asked you earlier about the, uh, the, the several times that the bill has failed, 2007, 2011, and 2019. And he says right. that for anybody to relate the right. experience of the EFCC to this bill was unfair. Uh, my question is, does it clarify for you and put to rest the speculations about the timing of this particular bill for a new agency to manage recovered loot? Thank you. What happened between the uh, Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of for, uh, Justice and the suspended acting chairman of uh, EFCC is a trigger Okay, that reminded the executive council that this need, this bill needs to be taken back to the national assembly for consideration. Something who I mean, anything can be a trigger to make good things happen. So it doesn't matter what has happened before, but there will be new grants for uh, the national assembly to consider uh, the the. the passage of the bill this time around, knowing that 
the problem we have before is that uh, uh, corruption has crept into the disposal of uh, disposal of cis, you know, uh, process of corruption. So basically, every Nigerian that wants to benefit from what belongs to Nigeria will have to support the passage of the bill this time around. The only thing is that the, it, will, it, may, it may increase the cost of governance in a way, but at the long run, it will also help us to, uh, to, to get more value for the effort that we are putting into it. So basically, there are two different things. The, the issue between the Attorney General and the suspended acting chairman of EFCC may have just a little role of triggering the uh, memory of the National Executive Council to remember to re repackage the bill. All right. Um the, the whole point is to Hello. curb... Yes, I'm with you, sir. Can you hear us, Mr. De Niro? I'm here. Uh, okay, I, I think the network is acting up a bit. But let's, let's, let's see if you can if you get can this question me. and then we'll wrap things up before the network uh, becomes too uh, tricky. Um, what is your assessment of how recovered funds have so far been managed by the government and how do you think that this latest move will boost efforts at managing recovered loot? I've actually answered that question along the line. The way the seaside assets were being disposed of before, the way they were being handled, because some of them, due to uh, issues of litigation, get rotting away. Uh, sensitive uh, assets that can depreciate fast are left to rot away in, uh, in, in various warehouses where they are kept. Some of them are, are bought back by the same criminal who, 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 who forfeited the assets in the first place. These are the corruption uh, aspects of the way things were being done before. And monitoring of the, uh, of the disposal of, of the assets have been cumbersome because there is nothing to harmonize the dates uh, that each of the agencies will be disposing of some of these assets. Now it, that we are having a new uh, agency, it will be easy to monitor the activities of the agency so that we know when the assets move from the agency that confisc confiscates to the asset management and, uh, the agency. All right, Mr. It, Daniel. It will be easy to track up to the point that it will be... Uh, Mr. De Niro, uh, I think we will just wrap things up here. I want to thank you very much for sharing your thoughts and your time on this latest move by government. We do hope to see um, a positive outcome. Thank you again for joining us. All right, we'll take a break now. And when we return, Edo State counts down to its 2020 governorship election. We'll be right back.